As a fresher, I have started my career as a Java developer, working for a startup for a salary of 3000 Indian rupees per month in the year 2002. In the next one year, that went up by 10 times, and in the next three years, that went up by 100 times. From waiting in lines for an interview to getting hired without an interview, from an average student in college to training hundreds and thousands of students across the world, if I can do it, then you can do it and you can do much more. So here are a few things that have helped me both as a fresher as well as an experienced professional throughout my career. Number one is to have a consulting mindset. We all start with great dreams and vision for our career and life. It is important to keep those dreams alive and not to get lost in the corporate maze. With a consulting mindset, we will do our best to get the job done. At the same time, we are not attached to the work and company. Having that mindset will help us focus on several other things like building great friendships and relationships, building passive income and all the financial abundance we want, travel across the world and even spend more time with your family. As you set up those meetings for your team, for your work, you should also make sure that you set up one-on-one -on -one meetings with yourself and listen to that inner voice and align your goals, set your goals in tune with that inner voice which tells you what to do. That is what you really love to do. Don't depend on your leads, your managers, your company. Develop your skill set, work on that skill set continuously and achieve your goals on a time to time basis. For example, I didn't wait for my companies to sponsor my visa or to send me abroad. I have worked on my skill set, I have developed those contacts, applied for jobs and I came to the US in the year 2006. The next in the list is continuous improvement. Can you tell me what is the best investment that we can make today? On any given day, the best investment we can make is in ourselves. So stay up to date with what's going on in your respective industry. Do a check on the job market to see where you stand with the skill set you have. Change your habits from watching sports on TV and browsing the internet for news and also spending a lot of time on social networking websites to reading good books and reading blogs and attending trainings that will get you close to your dream. Improve your communication skills, your technical abilities and also your entrepreneurial capabilities. Whether it's a classroom training or an online training, go for it and get those skills that you need right now. Create a brand for yourself while adding value to this world. Go ahead and do a Google search for your first name and last name and see where you stand on the internet. Yeah, go ahead now and create that YouTube channel or a blog and share your knowledge and ideas with this planet. You might ask me, there are already so many blogs and YouTube channels. What is the use of me creating one more? Let me tell you that you are unique and in that uniqueness, you are always number one. So work on that unique talent and share it with the world. I have started my YouTube channel and website a few years ago. It helped me help others and also grab very good consulting offers. I was also able to watch myself and see the way I walk and talk and improve on it. And when I have launched my online trainings on platforms like Udemy, I already had a huge student base that were ready to buy my courses. So stop thinking on how we can get most out of this planet and start adding value to this world. By adding value to the planet, we are adding value to ourselves. So go ahead, create that blog or YouTube channel right now. Mistakes and failures. Throughout this journey, we all make mistakes. If I am perfect, I wouldn't be here on this planet. So if you have made a wrong choice or decision in the past, that's okay. Swami Vivekananda says, bless our mistakes. Our mistakes are our teachers. Do some introspection, try not doing the same mistake again and move on. Sri APJ Abdul Kalam defines FAIL, fail, as first attempt in learning. So let's continuously learn and improve from our mistakes and failures. To wrap it up, quoting Swami Vivekananda, 
Arise, awake and sleep no more. Within each one of you, there is the power to get rid of all the wants and miseries. Believe in that and that power will be manifested. So dream big, believe in yourself, let God be the CEO while you build a career and life you want. Good luck to the fresher and to the experienced.